Hey everyone, and since October's almost here, I've decided to start doing some of my Halloween origami designs. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do my bat. So I'm going to use a black and white sheet of paper, and I'm going to start white side up. And so I'm going to fold in half diagonally. Make sure your creases really line up here. All right, crease that, and then unfold, and then fold diagonally in half again in the other direction. Increase. Now unfold, and then turn the paper over and fold in half vertically. Okay, and again, make sure your creases are very precise. Crease it sharply, unfold, and rotate the paper, and again, fold in half vertically. Okay, so now we're going to unfold, turn the paper over, and then bring the sides to the center and squash on the top. So, sides to the center, and then on top we're going to squash that down, like that. Okay, now fold one of the sides to the center. like I'm showing you here. All right, now crease or um, fold the side to the other side and crease that. Now unfold and fold the bottom to the top and use the existing creases to help you do this fold. All right, so remember to use the existing creases to help you and just do what I do, basically. And once you're done, you can just flatten everything and completely unfold that part and squash down. And remember, always use the existing creases. And then fold the bottom using the crease to the top. Push inside with the edges. All right. And again, flatten once you're done. All right, so now, once you're all done with that, turn the paper over, and then, again, fold the side to the center. Crease, and then squash down. Okay, so we're now going to fold the top down like that, and then fold the bottom sides to the top. So first you fold the left, or it doesn't really matter, but just fold one side and then do the other without unfolding. All right, so now fold the side over 
and then fold down a, just a little bit. And we're going to be making the ears here. So just fold down a little bit. It doesn't need to be too much or else the head will be very small. So fold down and then fold back up, creating an ear shape. And then do that on the other side. So pinch a certain amount and then just fold it um, back up like that. All right, so turn it over and you can fold that flap up. And then you can turn it over the paper over and pinch. We're going to be making the tail the tail here. So do this uh, how much you want and pinch and make that fold. Then fold back down. And then that's going to be our tail except we're just going to make it a little thinner. So fold the side to the other side, I guess. And then slide the paper out and to the center like that. Okay, now of course do the same thing on the other side. So fold the side to the other side and then slide the paper out and make the crease go to the bottom center. Okay, so now you can sort of see the bat taking place. And you see that flap sticking up. Fold it down. Not till it can't go down anymore, but just till it almost hits the other part like that, if that makes sense. And then... Open it up and squash down so that it's only one layer. The layers aren't together. So kind of open it up and then squash down on the crease you made. All right. So flatten the paper. Okay, and now once everything is good, you can sort of fold the bottom of that flap up and you're going to be creating the eyes. So fold it up and then once it's even in a good fold, you think, you're going to crease it or, yeah, and then fold it back down to make it look like eyes and then fold the bottom up to look like a nose so you can look at that a little all right and now fold or turn the paper over and then fold the head down and curve it a little or make it curvier i guess That'll also make it stay, the head stay still and not like go anywhere. All right, so now we're going to be doing the details for the wings. So pinch down somewhere on the wings and then fold it over onto the rest of the wing. All right, so do that three times like I did. Or, well, you can do as many as you want, I guess. And then we're going to sort of take the top of the wing and fold it or push it down, I guess, and make it like that so it kind of slants up.
Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So pinch and then push down onto the rest of the paper. Pinch, push down. All right, and I'm not going to, well, I think you know how to do it, so. Oh, well, so I'm going to, again, fold or just push the top of the wing down and make it slant up at the end so that it kind of curves and the crease hits the very tip of the wing like that. All right, so now we're almost done. We just have an optional step that we can do. We're going to, or, well, yeah, you could be done, but or you can make it look a lot better by just pushing the paper in on each of those sections like that. It'll make the wings look a lot cooler. All right, and now pinch on each of those points to make them stick out a little bit more. All right, so I'm just pinching that, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so now push in on all, the, all those sections again on the left wing or the right, or whichever one you didn't start on. So keep pushing that paper in. Make it look... I don't know. Just make it look scary and cool. Alright, so again, we're going to pinch on those points we made. All right. So now we are done with our bat. All right. I hope you guys liked this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Anyway, hope to see you next time. Bye.